Hi, this is a video on uh, the history of number symbols. This is part four, the ancient Mayan numbers. And my name is Scott Vaughn. I'm a math instructor at Montgomery County Community College. Okay, uh, the ancient Mayan numerals were a base 20 number system, which is uh, very different than ours as well. And why was it base 20? Nobody knows, but it's uh, easy to imagine perhaps because we can count 10 fingers and 10 toes, and that's where a 20, a base 20 system of, of counting might have uh, developed. Um, the Mayans developed the concept of zero as a number and a placeholder by 36 BC on our calendar, which is uh, long before the Europeans had done so. So they were really uh, advanced in their mathematics compared to Europe at that time. Um, the Mayans had measured the length of the solar year much more accurately than the, than the Europeans had at that time as well. Um, the Mayan civilization, uh, it's as early as 2000 BC and it lasts up until the arrival of the Spanish in about 1500 AD. So that's a 3,500 year period. Um, the height of the Mayan civilization was in uh, the period from about 300 BC to 900 AD, and it's uh, in the area of uh, Guatemala and, uh, and Mexico, in Central America. Okay, uh, the way in which the numbers work is the following. You'll see, um, in fact, let me go back to this, this picture here. You have a symbol for zero, a single dot makes a one, two dots make two, three dots for three, this is easy, four dots for four, there's a single bar now for five, a bar and a one dot makes six, a bar and two dots make seven, pretty easy to see what's going on here, the bar represents five, you see when I get to ten, I've got two bars, two bars and a dot for eleven, two bars and two dots for twelve, um, three bars makes 15. Um, once I hit uh, three bars and four dots, I've reached 19, and that's where the things are going to uh, change. And so that's what I'm going to talk about now. The Mayans were writing uh, in a vertical uh, number system. They had a, they're, they're stacking the numbers, the symbols vertically. So uh, this is a symbol for for one. But then if I put this this is a, sometimes I've seen it described as a shell. Other places I've seen it described as an eye, like a, with a, this could be like an eyelid or something that's opening. So I'm not sure quite what that symbol was. Uh, let me call it, it looks to me like a football or a loaf of bread. So, but I think shell is, is the one that I've seen most. Uh, so, so this shell is the, the zero symbol and it's in the bottom row here I, on the bottom level and so it's a it's holding the place for the ones and this now is in the place for the 20s and I have a one in the 20 place so this whole group here is uh, represents 20 all of this together is the number 20 Okay, and so this is another example right here. All of these together represent the number 22, and that's because in the first level I have two dots, and that means uh, this is sort of what's called, we'll call the ones place, and this we'll call the twenties place, and we have a one in the twenties place. So we can add those now together and see that this value is 22. Okay, another example down here. This has three levels. The first level is ones, this is how many ones you have. The next level is how many twenties you have. And then the next level up would be uh, how many twenties squareds, which is 400. So this is three, so we'll say three times one because it's in the ones level. This is um, zero times the value of that level, which is 20, and this is a 5 and a 1, so that's a 6 times 400. So this is 2400 
this is 0, and this is 3. So you put all that together, and you can now read the number, 2403. Okay, let's take a look at this one. We need to be able to read this group here is, uh, is one group of uh, symbols, and that's, a, that's the ones level, and that represents an eight. Uh, and this is, uh, this is the 20 level, and this is the 20 squared. And if we were had higher, we, we could have a 20 cubed. And this would be 420 and so on. Okay, so we'll say that's a 5 and 2, 1. So that's, that's 7 times the value of that level, 400. It's 2,800. This is um, 6 times the 20. So that's 120. And this is uh, a 5, and this is 8. 5 and 3, 1. That's 8 times 1. So this has a value of 8. So we're saying 2,800 here, 120 here, and 8 there. By reading all this together as one number, now I'm going to add all those together. 2,800 plus the 120 plus the 8. So I have 8 and 2, 9 and 2, 29, 28. This is equal to 2,928 in the Maya number system. Let's write the number 293 in ancient Mayan numerals. So this is more than 20, obviously. I'm going to need to go into, um, uh, I need to think about what, what level do I need to start at. I, I obviously, um, more than 20, so I'll say how many 20s I have. Now, it's not over 400, so I don't need the 20 squared. I don't need to say how many 400s I have. So, um, so the way to figure this out is just to figure out how many 20s you have in this number. So that takes a division. Um, so 293, how many 20s do we have? Of course, the Mayans wouldn't be thinking about doing the division. They would already be thinking about this number in terms of how many 20s it is from the outset, you know, from the start. So I need to figure, uh, this is going to go, um, well, one time 20 is... Give me, uh, you know, 20 goes into 93. Obviously, 5 times is too big, so it's 4 times. 4 times 20 is um, it's 80. So I have 13 left over. So 20 is going to go in 293, 14 times. Okay, so what I need to do is put 14 on this level and 13 on that level. So 14 is um, 2 fives. And one, two, three, four. That's 14. And then I need to put 13 down here. So that's two fives and three ones. So that's my answer. And just to explain it again how I got that, I'm saying 14 20s, or 20 14 times and 13 ones. And this is uh, 280, and this is 13. And if I add those together, that makes the 293. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so that's... Is there, do I have anything else? That's it. So... Um, the other thing that's neat to think about is the Mayan calendar. And uh, here is a uh, stone tablet that was actually a uh, gravestone, and a monument to a ruler uh, who, had, who had died. And, uh, and it has some explanation who this person was. Um, and we can now actually read on here the Mayan numbers, which are right here. And this, the fact that it's written here vertically uh, we can read off. There's a bar with two dots, and that's the seven. And you see, I have up here a seven. 
There's three fives and a one. That's 16 right there. There's the six. There's another 16, and that's an 18 right there. So if we're going to look at that whole thing right there as a single number, we can say it's 7, 16, 6, 16, 18 in the Maya number system. And we can write it out like this. We can write this date, oops, and write this date uh, with our number symbols as 7, 16, 6, 16, 18. And that's just a sort of translation of the Mayan date. Now, um, the context here is that this number at the very top represents this Bakhtun, which is a 400-year uh, period. So what this date is saying is that this is seven Bakhtuns, which is like 2,800 years, right? Seven times 400. Um, and then 16 Katuns and six Tuns and 16 Winals, which is uh, about a month period, and 18 Kin, which is a day. So they're saying how many... Um, uh, of these periods had passed um, when uh, in that particular date. Uh, so uh, it's kind of like a, an odometer on the car. Right? This would click to 19 and then as soon as this goes after 19 it'll go to 0 and that'll increase to 17. And once that goes to 0, you know, it'll go 17, 18, 19 and then instead of 20 it'll go to 0 and this will go to 7. So they'll keep increasing after the previous uh, the ones to the right had had, had cycled through, um, the Mayans used a base 20 number system so they could so they would count each cycle from zero to 19 and then start over. This is a, a monument that was found in Mexico in 1939, and uh, the picture is a Mayan monument found in Mexico. The date on the tablet is indicating how many years have passed since the date when the Mayans believed the world was created. So they have this mythological creation date in the Mayan mythology. And they believed um, that this date was, um, was the number of years that had passed since when they thought the earth was created. So there's something in the range of 3,000 years after what they thought was the beginning. I'm, I'm approximating 3,000 years because I'm saying 7 times 400 is 2,800, and then I'm figuring well, uh, a few more years for, for this. And 16 uh, of these 20-year periods is already 320 years right there. So, okay, and archaeologists believe that this particular tablet was created in about 32 BC, and so if you can figure out when this was created, and then figure out what they uh, believe the, the, the creation date to be, you can sort of uh, correspond the dates on the Mayan calendar with dates on, on our modern uh, Gregorian calendar. And that's what the, is shown here. Um, this is the oldest that uh, has been found. Um, and they believe that it was created in 36 BCE, before the Christian era. And if it was created in 36 BC and it was given this date, this is so many, um, what they believe to be thousands of years after what they believed in their mythology to be the creation date. So that's the date that's on that uh, monument that was created at this time. This is another date that's, that's written on the Mayan monument that was, uh, on a monument that was created at this time. Um, and, uh, and so these are the, the monuments that have been found. This is a detail showing three columns of glyphs from a portion of a, of a monument. The left column gives a long count. That's the name of this calendar uh, that has these really incredibly long uh, cycles that, uh, that, you know, just one increment is a 400-year period. can see there's an 8 and there's a 5 there's the 16 and the 9 and there's the 7 which is what's indicated there so this is a list of dates uh, that I found on Wikipedia for dates in the Mayan long count calendar and the, the Gregorian date which is the calendar that we uh, the modern calendar that we use uh, it shows the correspondence between them the Mayan civilization was active in this period um, from about 
36 BC to about the 1500s, um, and uh, really, uh, especially uh, during this period from, from about 41 uh, AD until about 830 AD. Um, and uh, so, uh, this says the earliest Mayan calendar date that's yet found shows a date of 7-16-3-2-13, which is about 36 BCE. And you can see this here is, uh, this is the 13, right? Two fives and three ones, that's 13. There's the two and the three. Now, this part, it's, I don't know how this, this must have been, somehow they were able to recreate, uh, reconstruct what was there. It looks like maybe the stone had broken or something, but there was still uh, some understanding as to the other. This is, this is the, um, here's the 16, right? Three fives and a one. And there's the seven that we see written out here. And, uh, and so that's, that date is basically what the Mayans were looking at as how many years passed since they believed was the creation date, which was, they believed the creation date was what they put as 13 0 0 0 0 on their uh, in their calendar and uh, so if we look down here we'll see that this uh, December 21 2012 was a little, uh, fascinating a lot of people were uh, fascinated with how that was going to represent the same date uh, in the Mayan calendar as what they believed was their creation date um, so it wasn't that the calendar was really starting over, it was just getting back to the point where the Mayans had believed the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the world was created, uh, which wasn't at ze all zeros. It was already 13 times 400. Uh, what is that? 13, 13 times 400. Um, about 5,000 years. So they were, they were thinking that it already 5,000 years had passed uh, before the, you know, uh, in their calendar, and then uh, maybe the gods were sitting around uh, thinking of something to do, and then they created the world after this 5,000 year period. Um, and then another, you've got to go all the way up to 19 before it starts over again, and then it begins counting up again uh, until... Uh, until this period when they started dating their, their monuments when, when, during the actual Mayan civilization. Um, and, uh, and then somewhere in here they stop using the long count calendar. Their uh, civilization is starting to uh, deteriorate. Um, maybe part of it was things like uh, drought and disease uh, in, uh, in Central America. And then by the time the Spanish are there, they're completely uh, wiped out. That's it.